Uh, today we'll be talking about the motivational quote for today or for this week or for this uh, for this time. So um, the quote is from Warren Buffett. And before I start with the quote, um, this is my first time doing a motivational quote in this format on video. I normally we post it just as a post, um, but I was asked by a couple people to kind of give my take on the motivational quote. Um, some people ask me, like, what's your take on this? Um, it's a very nice quote that you gave um, from another entrepreneur, another businessman. Um, I'm curious what you think about that. So I want to start this segment by just giving a, a quick synopsis of it. Obviously, I'll say the, um, the actual quote and give my perspective on it and we'll call it a day. Uh, so I always like to start the day with a cup of coffee. Um, I either switch from coffee to to tea, hot tea, so just depending on the day um, that I like and, and it just keeps me up. Um, and I've heard from other con friends, um, close friends, that they mention coffee's not good and I asked them why and they said, well, it is mainly because of sugar intake. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, what if I eliminate the sugar and put honey? I've always put honey in my tea. Um, and I just know the the consequences of putting a lot of sugar in anything. So um, I started to put honey in my tea, and it is a great sweetener and it's healthy as well. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I encourage honey with coffee; it's a wonderful replacement of sugar. So um, let's continue on with Warren Buffett's quote of this time. So he says, "I quote." You only have to do a few things right in your life, so long as you don't do too many things wrong. I really enjoy that because when I started, I'll give you a couple sentences of a brief synopsis of how I started writing the quote here, which was just based on necessity. I needed um, money to provide for my family. And this is what I enjoy. This is what comes naturally to me. And I never thought of it as a vision. I just enjoyed it so much. So to me, it was a hard decision. I was in the financial industries, um, did retirement planning, investment planning. I enjoyed it. Still talk to many of my um, clients now on the or in the clothier side of it, but they were great mentors of me, uh, of mine. So. I enjoyed it. From there, I look at, okay, how do I start this company? And, you know, the company I worked before, the investment firm, they really taught me how to just become a business owner. Um, there's no sponsoring. There's no uh, money given to me or anything. I just enjoy to say the company, they're Edward Jones. Um, so again, no sponsorship or anything. I just like to mention the name because um, they taught me a lot in life. Um, they were the real college for me. I graduated college, but they were, they taught me how to take a no, how people react, the psychology of business. It, it was really fascinating. So I really enjoy it. Um, that's that, in that time there. And it was just going up and down my income. And one month I would knock it out of the park. The other month or two, I would have zero clients in. So it was hard, but I enjoyed it. It was very hard to leave because my mentors, my leaders, they all say, okay, you, you can't get fired because you're bringing in money, um, but uh, just keep going. Like this is the life of a financial advisor. And it was hard to say, say goodbye, but I had to do it because it was, you know, it was part of my uh, life of providing for my family. My wife and I, we had a little one at the time and I had to make a drastic decision. So the closest thing to make was starting my clothier company. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of doubt in that. I never sold anything before as far as my own. <laughs> and it was a different perspective, but it, it made me stronger as an individual. And, you know, this could go great. It could go wrong, but I continue on with it. And, and I think God has helping me so far. But there are a lot of other things that I've done a lot regard or relating to the quote of Warren Buffett was just different ideas I had 
just crazy ideas. Um, what was it? Just so many things that didn't go right, but I didn't lose a lot of it, but I kept going. Um, I had <laughs> a mobile, all these ideas that never came to fruition, never realized, um, but I was getting close to doing it. Um, so, and my mindset was that, and this was before I heard Warren Buffett. I just, I heard someone else said a very similar, um, they, I think it was Mark Cuban. He says, you just got to be rich one time, or you just got to have, you know, yeah, you can just be rich. You only have to be rich one time to make it. So it's very similar to what Warren Buffett um, says, you know, you only have to do a few things right. Um, and to me, I, I thought about making a smoothie stand. I thought about um, making, what was it, a mobile, um, uh, like two or like delivery service for laundry um, and well, for dress shirts and suits. And then I thought about, um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, mobile brakes, um, brake service. <laughs> So I can go to your house and with my tools, very easy and I'll pay for everything. It's a monthly service. I had all these ideas and uh, and they like said, it didn't bother me. I just kept going and going. And the idea was to provide for my family. So it, I had good intentions why I did it. It wasn't, I just say, oh, let me try this. No, I'm like, okay, how do I survive? And I think that's where it hits the point with what Warren Buffett says. You just survive. And as an individual, myself as a man, as a provider for my family, I find ways to survive. And you just have to do it. You have to take the good and the bad. And um, you know, when he says the last part of it, says as long as you don't do too many things wrong, because you can end up in debt, you can have issues with your spouse, with your kids, you there's just a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, so you really have to calculate the risk that you take. But um, once you calculate the risk and understand, okay, this could be profitable, but I'm not 100% sure. This is this company, Raina Clothier. And it's crazy once you make the leap, you see other people supporting you. You see other individuals wanting to um, help you grow as well. And I'm very thankful to all my clients as well who have given me referrals um, and are continually giving me referrals. So um, that's one thing I'm grateful for. I'm nowhere near the end of this company. And like I said, it was just really neat um, to hear from Warren Buffett. Um, I, he, considering that I'm still in the investment business, but more of a personal side of it, um, rather than managing assets of others. I <laughs> have different opinions about him as far as his investment strategy. So it's a different perspective on that, but we'll leave that to another day. But um, great man, uh, um, great quote that he had, and um, we'll leave it there. If you guys have any questions, if you'd like to order a suit, a custom-made suit, a custom-made um, any type of garment, two-piece suit, three-piece suit, a sport jacket, a dress shirt. Um, we are here to serve you. Uh, we're here in Austin, Texas. I live about an hour north of Austin, Texas myself, and but we do service our clients all over the world. Um, thankful to video conferencing and um, as far as our app, I made a video about that um, that we sent to our clients specifically where they take literally just two pictures of the um, non-invasive pictures. So you just have your dress shirt on, your your slacks, your trousers, and you take two pictures, one from front, one from side, and we can get about 95, 90 to 95% accuracy of your garment. And then with our based experience fitting, um, our version of base fitting, we, I made a video about that as well. Look it up on my videos or my videos for the company here in YouTube. Um, it talks about how we don't have to get a tailor. We can help you out and get an even closer um, accuracy towards that garment. So it's all done virtually. So it's really neat. And we get personal as well as far as Zoom calls or video conferencing calls. So i um, looking forward to meeting you one day and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And